Hello, in this one is my biggest damage upgrade so far in the series, so let's get into the episode 6. This one I'm gonna start with leveling my charm upgrade slots. And what I'm looking for is actually total slot upgrade level 150. Because at 150 you get a little bit of extra effects on the legendary charm upgrade slots. And that extra at this point gives me quite a bit actually. At the same time, do not forget to do this even early into the game. I did it kind of way too late. You don't need to do 150, you can do like 100, which is okay for the non-legendary charm upgrade slots. But yeah, I did 151. I always do one higher because the game is really weird. And I got quite a bit of damage from this. Another problem I had is my belt. I was still snapshotting with my enhanced potion belt, but at this stage... I wanted to craft a belt that I could use all the time, so I was looking for double enhanced potion effect. I have this, uh, how to make this belt on a, another video that I'm gonna leave in the description, I'm gonna show how to. I already had a enhanced potion effect transferred onto this one, and I was trying to, to serpent another enhanced potion effect into this one. It took me quite a bit of serpent essences, and at some point I thought maybe I'm making a mistake this early. Because I failed my transfer on 161 base, so I had to use low level bases, which is not good if you want to roll high T uh, affixes. But I managed to get the enhanced potion effect, and then I started to look for my third suffix. I wanted enhanced potion duration, but I didn't manage to get it. I only got uh, intelligence, which okay, it saves me some of the um, stats, and I can do more strength while saving the intelligence. Under that, for the prefix, I, won, I wanted to get HP flat, HP multi, and resource cost. I didn't want to get resource cost minus 4. Didn't matter if it was tier 7 or tier 10 roll. However, I did not manage to get the HP flat. I only got hit rate, which is good because you need a lot of hit rate right now. I did some serpents, nothing too crazy. Tier 13, tier 10 is more than enough for me. We rolled some values and then went for leggy, got HP and did some crafting for extra enhanced potion effect, which I managed to get. So this belt is what I'm using right now. After that, I went to do some serpents with, uh, new mo with my new belt. That means my potions are really strong right now, especially the amp ones and HP ones. I managed to drop the axe and I went to crafting into that. I managed to roll quality 10 on this one, which is my first quality 10 in this season. And I went for the prefix craft first. I actually crafted this weapon for an hour. I wasted so many resources. I'm not gonna show everything. I'm only gonna show when I'm actually succeeding. But this was my most expensive craft ever. And the longest one at the same time. As you can see, my axe is with HP implicit and has crit rate 10. The reason I'm not doing Scepter because I don't have a Caster Transcended Ring, which gives me 30% flat crit, I only have 15. So I needed a crit base weapon basically, and this axe was my best choice. So for the prefix, I wanted to get uh, lightning damage on hit, speed, cold damage, and attack damage flat. I didn't manage to get cold damage flat, only managed to get speed, but actually I got speed rolls quite a few times, but I rerolled those, but I did a mistake. I should have kept speed, and I kept the speed on my last craft. And the reason was because I can remove... Here I got it. Because I could remove my confidence from my Frost Strike. I was stick ru still running confidence at this stage, which is a bad idea. And that speed roll basically makes me to remove that speed confidence and add actual damage jump. So this craft was actually really good. It just took me a few a few tries to actually remember that. Yeah, I went for the suffix one and suffix was the worst one. I spent around 200 suffix and bunch of removals. I was not getting anything good and this was crazy. The suffix part for some reason was harder than the prefix, which was crazy actually. Suffix part was always easier for me. But yeah, 200 suffixes and I got it. 
After that, went for the Vespers. I thought I'm gonna use all of my Vespers, but I only used two. Even my first one was kind of decent one, but I really wanted a little bit higher additional lightning damage. So on my second one, I actually got it. I got tier 14 lightning damage and tier 14 attack damage and tier 14 speed, which solves all of my issues. And this is pretty decent rolls. I didn't want to invest more because with this weapon, I knew I'm going to be able to do much higher level maps. And always before going leggy, I fix my rolls on the affixes for to get the min max my weapon basically. After that, went into leggy, but I did leggy twice. My first leggy gave me gear critical rate and one more leggy slot. I imbued that slot, I got lightning damage, and it was just not good enough for me. I kept looking why there was no attack damage right before I imbued that second affix and looks like not every single time you can imbue the weapon damage multiplier or weapon damage uh, flat it depends on what you roll on your first roll and that made me a little bit confused I was looking I couldn't find it I only find the flat one not not the multi so yeah I went for the reversion after the reversion I got something good I only got one prefix, one leggy prefix, not two, but I got attack damage flat, which is a huge damage increase on my specific axe. Of course, it's not yet 35, I'm just progressing little by little, I'm not, not buying any bases, I drop everything myself, so yeah, this was a good craft and I was happy about it. After that, I used some authority essences to get the gear quality. I went for four, but later I did six. Of course, after that, I spend around 10k star memories. I'm only gonna show you the last uh, rolls on this, but I managed to get cold damage. I was actually did some high crafts, my second high craft also, but I didn't get anything good, so I had to reverse it, and I just did the cold damage. I didn't want to use any more high crafts. This is not the weapon I'm gonna use for long, and I want to keep the all the good stuff for my last weapon that I'm gonna do, which is gonna be TF-85. And of course, after that, I went into testing my damage, so in the last video, I was, let's say I was around like 4.5 bill. On this one, I'm gonna be 6.1. It doesn't sound like I got so much damage, uh, and I'm gonna explain why. Because this is only 145 level enemies, and on 145 level, with this axe, I'm capping my crit rate. In order for me to see the actual numbers, I had to do high level and I did it off stream and the actual difference between my old weapon and this weapon, in here it was only what, 20% 20, 20 or so, but on high level maps it was actually closer to 30-40. Yeah, but just remember that Testing on leaderboard rankings is not always the best way to see how much damage you actually get from the weapon. So yeah, thanks for watching and in the next one, basically even right now, I'm still trying to drop Leggy Lacrima. I spent like 15k chaos points and I couldn't get it. So GG's, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.